and what is going on guys my name is nightmare and today as the video says this is a treasure map breakdown for the treasure map talking so this is the first team that we're looking at and this is for the kaido invasion so let's have a quick look at kaido real quick let's just scroll through here so kaido there's two stages on the second stage he'll put up the little debuff that mech gives you a chance of getting a negative warp instead of a positive warp so be aware of that you can use big mom she gets rid of no actually she doesn't get rid of that but she'll give you full g orbs and this is the final stage of kaido um on the first stage you'll get your cooldowns reduced by five so just know that and then on this stage you'll get three turns of um damage threshold cut and um numbness by three oh crap there's paralysis on this so yeah there's paralysis on this and i didn't see that so i have to edit my team um paralysis uh Let's go to paralysis removers. I believe it's this one. No, this is silence. This is paralysis. And let's look at the TM boosters. Um, Nami. Da. There's Zoro Joro, but he's not boosted by bullet but that really doesn't matter um oh actually i think the int marco does it yeah three turn pearls on oh, changes all right i guess we can put int marco on the team and what slot will we do? This we can do it for this boy. So we'll just put Ant Marco. Bam, paralysis removal. Alrighty. So that is for the Kaido invasion stage. So next stage we have is speed. Speed, she puts two turns of increased defense. And we see that they recommend a one on law team. And then also you get paralyzed, paralyzed for two turns. So this is the team that I'm running. Oops. Right here we have Wano La, Zoro Joro, Ray Dofi, the Fortnite Jinbei, and we have um, the boy Team Kazaru. And this is a okay team, I guess. Not my favorite, but it'll just have to work for me. Next up we have is against Hold'em. And Hold'em for his preemptive, as you can see, he reduces the left side's cooldowns by two. And then every other turn he'll reduce the right side, then the left side again, and then he keeps doing it. So basically, they want you to use um, Blackbeard. But the reason why I'm using Blackbeard on my... Um, Kaido team is because he's one of the highest point boosters. He's a 1.4 point booster. So regularly you want to use your highest point boosters on the boss stage. So that's why I'm using Blackbeard on my Kaido team and also on my Hawkins team. So in this instance, instead of using Blackbeard against Hold'em, I'm going to use V1 Sanji. You know, Saji is pretty good. He'll be pretty great for Hold'em. And since the left side's going to get reduced um, as a preemptive, I just decided to put Big Mom and Luchi on the right side. We see he doesn't have any immunities against delay, so that's pretty good. So you can just pop Big Mom, and then if you jump, beforehand you'll be set because he'll have the i believe his attack boost is like 8.2 something when he's in the air so you'll have the 
attack boost and the orb boost and the color affinity and you'll have the conditional with um, Luchi so you'll be doing a lot of damage to him so you'll kill him pretty easily with a V1 Sanju team. Next team is against Apu and then Apu he has a delay um, immunity for 98 turns which doesn't matter and then he'll reduce damage in percent by 80 percent and it's for three turns and then he'll slap a 1.5 chain lock on you so the team that i'm running is pretty similar i'm running nami and then um croc raid ivankov the from the new fortnite and then we have sabo and then we have rake i mean not rake Kalo hody so um what i'm planning to do is they put Cracker on their team because he removes Chain Lock and Chain Down and whatever. And it gives a full board of matching orbs. But I want to see, depending on how short the cooldown is for Croc on the treasure map, if I'm just able to use Croc on the stage um, 6, then I'll just use Croc on stage 6. So he'll have his 3 turn um, 2.5 Chain Lock up. So I don't have to pop another special when I go into the boss stage against a poo. So hopefully that works out for me. If not, then I'll probably switch up. Um, maybe take out Sabo and then replace it for Cracker if it's too short or if I don't get um cooldown. But Hopefully, I don't have to do that. And I can just use Croc. And, yeah. So, that's what I'm doing for my Pooh team. And then, next up, we have um, Jack. And Jack, he has a three-turn, a three-hit good barrier. And then, it's for three turns. And then, under 20%, he'll do 100 times his attack. And then, he has an interrupt. Uh... I'm not really sure what this interrupt is for, but we'll just have to see. Maybe it's been translated on Reddit or something, but instead of using Ace, I'm using 6-star bullet. I'm really mad that I had to evolve my 5-star bullet into 6-star bullet because he doesn't really have any usage, really, if you have 6-plus bullet, which really makes me angry, but it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do for TM. But yeah, this is the team. I am planning to replace um, Jimbo with um, TM Hawkins because he's a 1.25 booster instead of Jimbe, who's uh, only a 1.2x booster. But using Hawkins instead will be way better. And just for the point boost, of course. And I'm pretty sure this team will do fairly good damage. If anything, I might replace Moody Oven with um, just regular Kalo Oven for his 1.75 Orb Boost. Wait a minute. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It works because he has the um, immunity, so you can get the Orb Boost with Oven Special. So, yeah, I would probably do that. Switch Moody Oven with um, Kalo Oven eventually when his hp gets pretty high but i'm pretty sure for a while i should be pretty good with the attack boost from ace and then the chain boost from law and then um yeah and then just bullet special alone just the hp um from his um on attack so that should be good and then next up we have is hawkins so on stage six he's gonna make a lot of orbs this is disadvantage orbs which sucks and he has an interrupt which i think might be from changing orbs or it just might be he just make turns to he gives you the orbs and then they're all negative and yeah um should be easy i'm gonna i should have said this before but on my kaido team with bullet i'm gonna be running a friend kaido and he'll 
basically take care of Hawkins for me, especially since um, Kaido alone before the 2.5 boost that he gets from TM, he already does like 1.9 million damage from his first hit in just like in regular battle. So in TM, he should be doing at least 5 mil or something around that range. So you can clear Hawkins pretty easily on stage 6 and 7 without even doing anything. So that's nothing to worry about. But later on on stage 7, he has two turns of percent shield. And then he has the, if you deal damage to me, I'll deal two times damage back to you debuff. And then three turns of attack down. So to counter that, I'm bringing back Bullet. I'm bringing Anel, who will remove the attack down for me. And then I'm bringing, what's his name? Zoro again, who will remove the percent shield later on when Kaido doesn't deal enough damage himself to one-shot Hawkins. And yeah, the rest of it's just for point boost. Um, I'm not going to be doing too much with Blackbeard. And the only time I'll... I don't even know if I'll get to use Frankie just because um, Kaido just blitzed through everything. But hopefully I'll have his cooldown low enough so I can use Frankie special if I actually need to use the attack boost. But yeah, that's going to be it for the treasure map breakdown on my end but um we can just look a little bit further into helping you guys build some teams so of course if you have the tm units the ones that are basically recommended for this tm let's go here so there's kinemon conjuro rizo and then what's his name uh kaido and blackbeard that's basically a team that you want to run for both Kaido and um, Hawkins. If you, because you didn't know, just run Kinemon Captain, Kaido Friend Captain, or vice versa, and then Kinemon Sub, um, Kondro Sub, and um, what's his name? Rizo Sub, and then Blackbeard Sub, and then that's the highest point boosting team. And then you will be doing a lot of damage and you'll be going through the content really easy and it will last you for a long time so that's a good team to run um other teams you could run i would probably say um stamp luffy and white bear v2 if you have them i would recommend using them with a friend kaido against the kaido variation or the um What's his name? The Hawkins variation. Um, if you only have six star bullet, I would run him as well. If he's one of your highest point boosted captains, Frankie as well would work really well. But you'll have to find make a couple of adjustments depending on your teams and what units you have. Um, Jack, Speed, and Hold'em. I don't have them, unfortunately, similar to Kaido and the Point Boosters. So you, I would chuck them in where you can, mostly on the um, final boss stages. Uh, well, the Invasion stage and the uh, Hawking stage, if you're running the Powerhouse Striker team for Kaido. But if you don't have to, you can use Jack on like your Nami team or your Wano Law team, and then hold them. You can use, if you're going to use Ace instead of Six Star Bullet, you can run hold them on your Ace team as a Psy unit, and he's a 1.3 booster, which is really nice. And then Speed, you can put her on, where would you put Speed? Uh, I guess Kaido or your Hawkins team, I guess, for a cooldown reducer. But but just basically a beat point booster stick. And yeah, 
I think that's going to be it for this treasure map breakdown. Hopefully this will be helpful for you guys. If you guys want me to do another one, let me know. Let me know what I can do to improve these in the future. And thanks for watching. Nightmare out.